<laughs> oh my god, he's gonna seriously f kill me. I swear. If I go missing, the original web girl, get safe, lock everything, and call three people and tell them where you will be and check in. And I'm giving people his address. <clears throat> yeah. Hi there, welcome back. If this is not your first time, if this is your first time, this is Stories from the Internet and I'm your host Monty and I would love if you would subscribe as well as hit the notification bell. This of course will be another foodie beauty video because there has been a lot of revelations lately. A lot of things have been happening in the foodie beauty realm and I really wanted to talk about it specifically with the shit that has hit the fan with Foodie Beauty and Nadir today, October the 5th. A lot of revelations were made and it seems Nadir has gonorrhea and Chantel is very likely to have gonorrhea as well. So uh, let's uh, get into the video and talk about it. I'm gonna be driving home because I have my therapy at 11.30. Nothing is fucking up my therapy today. Nothing. No man, nothing. <laughs> so, I have a story time for you and I'm telling you this. And Natter, if you're watching this later, every single time you're a friggin' abusive asshole to me, I'm gonna out it on the internet, okay? So, because that's my right to do it. So you know what? I just fucking left him at the pharmacy to, with his fucking STD prescription and his phone is here. This is my phone. You know what? Like, fuck that. I'm so done. I'm telling you, I want to be done. Like, I had to like, like, I just, I need to drive home. I just spent an- So, typically in foodie beauty fashion, you just get slammed with a lot of information when she is on a ranger and or upset. We just get dumped with information and we try and make sense of it right away. So what I have said many times and other reactors have said this many times is this. She should get an STD check because of the stuff about Nader that we are uh, that we are aware of. The red flags about Nader that we are aware of. Especially about... The revelation when it comes to the woman on his stairs with the Pepsi and the condoms. Remember that from when was that? Like two, three months ago? Even after the revelation of him being on a website such as gay.ca. Now, there's nothing wrong with being on gay.ca. I'm just saying that he was or had a profile on gay.ca where he was looking for M for M meaning male for male, even after the revelation that he continues to message and interact with a copious a plethora of women online as well as in person in his locality. What more does she need? There's so many red flags on the play. What else does she need? So I'm, I get up early to bring him to the clinic. Just slammed with information as usual. Because I say, I want to go back home after and have my therapy in private. Oh, that that's that uh, that cost me an hour of being screamed at in the car, in my face, screamed at. Like, yes, I was. I felt very afraid at that moment, and I'm just like, anyway, talking. I can understand her fear, but how many times has she been through this? Um, this should have been a learning moment the first, second, or third time that he has done that to her. I've said, personally, he isn't that great of a guy, and he will play the part when it comes to money. Of course, that's why he does those cooking videos, and he'll act nice to play the part. I think his real personality comes out when he's alone, the camera is not on, and he is with Chantel. He tries to control her, he tries to boss her around at all other things, right? It's online, yeah. It's not a good idea, probably. But you know what? I'm sick of, like, no, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. This is the last straw. This is, this is like, this, uh, I don't know. This is ridiculous. This is like, I don't know how so, many effing signals I need. <laughs> exactly. So listening to this, it kind of comes out of left field, but kind of not. We already knew this was coming, right? This is not unexpected. Now, what comes to mind is why does this all matter when they are just friends? She said that they're friends. They're no longer together. But STIs and STDs do matter, right? At least when you have a sexual relationship with someone and no doubts about it. I am pretty sure Chantel still has a sexual relationship with Nether ongoing. So anyway, um, just give me a minute. My adrenaline, my heart is like, I literally just fucking left him at the pharmacy with no phone. He has my bank card, but I locked it before I left. Like I was just like, <laughs> yikes, you know, like, oh my God, I didn't like, I didn't know what to do. I'm like trying to drive. I'm trying to drive, he's screaming in my face and getting more mad at me because I'm not answering him. Oh, but my, you know, why do you want to be private? What are you hiding? You know, I know nothing about you. You keep getting mad about that night. I told you what to do about that, like screaming in my face. And I'm like, they're scaring me? Don't yell at me. And like, I think there's a lot more to this as if he's trying to deflect off the situation of him having to get std meds and she trying to inquire where he got this std from which all blew up in a fight when two people have a lot of issues and shouldn't be together because they are always going to be in a toxic relationship with this there or should i say with this relationship there's no secret that she wants and feels she deserves a relationship from this man but on his end, he only wants a transactional relationship involving money. Remember all the things we know about Nadir. Didn't he have a Cameroon man's penis on his phone? Didn't his buddy throw 50 bucks at her to see her boobs? Kind of trying to see exactly how she is going to react to that, whether or not she's going to actually show him her boobs or not. Did I mention the dating and king sites he's on? I did, right? Remember M4M? What does she really expect when a guy keeps talking about hooking up with his friends, hooking up with multiple people, and that he has done such things in the past and he is a part of that kind of lifestyle? What does she expect? It's like getting like loud with his hands. So it's like, go get your prescription. No, I'm not going. Throws the prescription. So finally, I got him to go in. And I just, I locked my bank card and drove away. Sorry. He's like walking distance from home. I'm sorry, but now am I afraid of like going back home? Kind of, but. I can understand that. This is like but weird. He's not Why that foolish. Why do you want to be alone for therapy? Like, because you know that I'm talking about you in therapy. Yes, I talked to my therapist about you. Yes, you're going to be the fucking subject of the day today. And she really needs to calm down. Go online and fix it. You have to fix it. You know how much shit I got for talking about him online? Fix it. Basically, what are you saying? You want me to lie? I said Because I said I'm not lying. I'm not lying to people. You did what you did. I'm not lying to people. You did what you did. But... Oh boy, this is too much back and forth for me because there has been a lot of red flags on the play in terms of this relationship like they say if it isn't adding up then start subtracting so what can she learn or what did she learn or what should she learn well i could say that she can learn to choose better partners and change her mindset right i can tell her to make right her sinking youtube channel yes because she is Losing a lot of views and views can correlate to income, right? And I can also say this. I can tell her to heed reason when it comes to relationships since her relationship intelligence is sorely lacking. She has all these story times of being in all sorts of relationships here and there, this and that, but yet the truth comes out. Her relationship intelligence, her social intelligence 
is rather lacking because you would know better from being in situations like these in the past in being in relationships like these in the past or learning from other people being in relationships like these in the past it is true that night he looked like he was gone like he was gone he was gone 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 and uh i said i i can't admit to that but i'm not going to come on i'm not going online and i'm not saying nothing happened he's like well if i don't remember it to me it didn't happen and if you love somebody you're going to be more concerned about what the fuck you did to them over I thought reputation I thought they weren't in a relationship. Anyway. (sighs) I need to say this, like, because if I... uh, No, I'm not going back, because if I go back, honestly, I feel like... She should never go back. No, there's no way. Sometimes it makes me wonder, what are these people in the chat feeding her? Are they just trolling? Do they just want to see a train wreck, a shit show? Talking like that, like, going back, you should do this, you should do that. Like, really? Who is doling out this kind of advice? I don't feel safe. Like, I don't feel safe. Like, I don't feel safe with this person, like, on an emotional, every level. And, I, like, I don't know. Sometimes, like, I'm, I just feel so confused because yesterday I had such a good time. But even when I'm having good times with this person, I feel drained. And I just don't know why. I feel drained after every day. You know? Because of the fights. Just, like, I don't want it to be secret. I just feel, like, more suffocated if it's not out in the open. And, yeah, well, it's, you know, your life, secret life on the internet. Well, then don't fucking fuck with a youtuber don't fuck with a public figure who has a lot of vibs okay wow and yes i know you guys are gonna be like you're such an asshole we've been telling you this and i see what she did there is trying to get her youtube posse so to speak to go after nadir he has his youtube channel yes and what she is indirectly trying to say is hey all of you go talk to him go you know defend me in a sense Remember, she no longer has Karate Joe because Karate Joe has been doxxed. Karate Joe has been found out to be a predator. So she's lost her main bulldog. Well, who else does she have? Well, she has her VIBs that can, you know, form a posse, an army, so to speak, march over to Nadir's channel and give him a piece of their mind in defense of Woody Beauty. I don't know why it took this long. I don't even think it's him I like. It's like it's like a, a weird attention addiction or something. I don't know. Exactly. It is the attention. As we've coined it on my channel, the attentionitis. That is what she is addicted to. The attention that he gives her. He gives her a hundred percent attention at various times where you know he's all over her he smothers her with attention this is what we call love bombing this is what this man is doing he's love bombing her giving her everything and anything she wants in terms of human interaction and attention and then he will also withdraw it and then comes in the fights then comes in the fight for dominance and control in the relationship because in my honest opinion they are both toxic people and they should stay away from each other but luckily i have therapy in a half an hour so oh my god i just feel so much like better now that i'm away like i was like so worried like oh my god now he's gonna stall like like somebody in the comments said to me he knew he would make you late for your video and you know what i bet you fucking did and you know what oh my god I better not have any fun. Like, honestly, like, this is the thanks I get. Like, I didn't see him for a few days because, like, I need, like, a few days away from him. And then, you know, but. <laughs> like, I'm such a fucking idiot. Oh, my God. Like, I was going to pay for his gonorrhea medication. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, oh, my God. Yikes <laughs> is all I got to say. After everything I do, I get blamed and, like, treated like shit. Like, really? Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god! I just, I want to, oh my god, like, I'm so angry right now. I just want to, like, I, I'm so, like, are you serious? Are you serious? Before we go any further, didn't she not mention time after time after time she's not going to talk about her relationship online, that they're going to keep private things private, but whenever she rages, she's upset, she defaults to earing out her dirty laundry online as if people are her personal therapists, as if her VIBs 
or her personal therapist and to dole out and give her advice as well as comfort. This is what she keeps doing. It's like having a diary which is supposed to be personal and secretive, yet it's open in a video format to the entire world. Oh my god, like Alexa, play no scrubs. Like seriously. Oh my god. Okay, everyone was right. I'm I'm so fucking sorry for ever doubting. Ever doubting. What's there to doubt? It's obvious to me. Yeah, scream at it's me. It's not that's obvious to keep, her. That's, that's gonna keep me with it. You think I'm a I'm not no, 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 no. No, 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 no. You see, folks, if you're looking at this, this is what is called a lack of social experience, a lack of relationship experience, because those red flags in a relationship are as bright as the sun to me. Bright as a soul affair, blinding bright to me to where she should have not been in this relationship since day one, since the first night when this guy had substances in his place and wanted her to indulge in them. What she should have done was turn around and get the hell out of there, but she didn't, she indulged, she, you know, stayed with him, and you see what happens? Now her YouTube channel is in jeopardy, she's broke, she's spent thousands upon thousands of dollars for this guy, she's clothed this guy, she's fed this guy, she's wasted a lot of time with this guy, and her credibility is in the pits all because of this guy anything and everything that is currently happening within the past couple of months can be attributed to nadir i'll say the scope of her health of course right because her she's always had health problems but you know what i mean right this we've seen this story before we've seen this story many many times with a lot of people a lot of celebrities a lot of normal people where they just meet that one person that drags their life to hell this is a learning lesson because this is reality this is real this happens to people <laughs> oh my god oh my god uh, you're no angel oh sure that is true mm, she's no also angel. no angel yeah, I think I am, at this point, after everything I fucking did for you. I think I'm an angel. No way. Sure. Kiss my fucking ass. Kiss it real, real good. Put lipstick on and kiss it. Okay. Oh boy. I can't look at the chat. You know what, for Vlogtober Day 5, we're gonna... This is fucking... Shit boyfriend dumping day. Oh, boyfriend again. I thought they were just friends. I thought they were just friends. It's always boyfriend, not boyfriend. It's only her boyfriend when it is convenient. And it is only not her boyfriend when it is also convenient for her. It's always about her convenience, right? Exactly. So what else can she learn from this? Well, she can learn from her mistakes each and every day and try to not only make the right decisions, but the better decisions. See, folks, we are the sum of our daily decisions. If you decide to not go back to school and get a degree or a diploma or a certificate, then that is a poor decision, right? Exactly. And our daily decisions add up. You don't do something tomorrow, it adds up. You don't do something today, it adds up. You don't do something yesterday, it adds up. And this tally, this addition of poor daily decisions are due to our belief system. And our belief system is due to our mindset. So you know what Chantel needs to do? She needs to stop making choices based on a shitty belief system those choices in turn and in bad results and this is all due to a negative mindset negative outlook a mindset of laziness see mindset constantly it is about mindset it can't be friends like i thought being friends seriously like you don't believe me oh well i understand you know <laughs> that's not gonna work that's a delusional yes then you can call me delusional 
because as long as I'm in his life somehow, there's an attachment. Yep. So get out of his life. And speaking of attachments, there really isn't any attachment. Because there's a lot of other people in a lot scarier situations where they are literally tied to somebody. With assets, with kids, with property, sharing the same household, sharing the same car, so many things. She doesn't share the same household with this guy, AK. She doesn't live with him. She doesn't share a bank account. She doesn't have kids with the guy. She doesn't have all these ties that, you know, the average person around her age would have with another person so she can get away a lot easier than somebody else all she has to do is just ignore his phone calls ignore him move on change your phone number maybe all she has to do is move on just ignore the guy move on create a better life for yourself a more positive life than constantly absorbing this negativity that comes from this relationship because it is slowly eroding eating away at her mindset speaking about mindset again folks like i said chantelle needs to stop making bad choices bad decisions because of her shitty belief system so if she has a shitty belief system if she has shitty results then it's because of her choices right and those shitty choices are the consequences of her shitty beliefs. And you know what solidifies our belief system? Well, like I said again, our mindset. Thus, a change in mindset is sorely needed. So, I want to talk about this mindset a little bit more, but let's just get back into the video. This is insane, I know. This is insane. And I really want you all to, like, pay attention and just... Seriously. I know, I told you so, I told you so. I know, I know, I know. I'm, I'm, I, I know, okay? She doesn't see a dangerous situation when she's in one. Remember how she said she can tell a criminal when she sees one well i guess she didn't see that with karate joe no did she nope and it seems she can't tell a dangerous situation when she's in one because she's been constantly in a dangerous situation with a dangerous guy it is highly likely that this man pleaded down from an attempted murder charge remember he stabbed two people one in the stomach you know what happens when you stab somebody in the stomach? The likelihood of them dying is extremely high. Also, if you stab them in the chest or in the neck or in the head, they usually just charge you with attempted murder. Now, does that seem like a happy-go-lucky type of guy to you? Does that seem like a guy that you should be around? I know you can change and everything, but did this guy change? This guy is the same guy she says was lighting out cigarettes on her, punched her in the face, screaming at her. We've literally seen him assault her on camera. Nope, this guy did not get corrected in any correctional facility. So, does he have the propensity to change? I would say nope. I mean, I've heard of like getting yeast infections from being like not clean, but gonorrhea. I don't know. That's like, <laughs> you don't get gonorrhea from that. I don't think so, right? I mean, then <laughs> I'm like, I have to escape from him. Like I have to like trick him into going into somewhere. Like pretend like I'm not mad. Oh boy. Just to get away from this person. Like, oh my God. He probably fucking the bitch on the stairs. Where would he like? Yep. Honestly, you try telling me it's from me. Amongst other things. You. So I don't see you for three days. I come back. It's all coming out. Dick looks like a golf ball and it has green shit coming out of it. Yikes. What? TMI. And that's from me. <laughs> TMI. 
Oh my god! What the hell is wrong with me? Like, seriously. No. I feel okay, but yeah, I'm going to get, I'm going to be getting everything tested. Like, yeah. ASAP. I, I don't see how so this is funny, but. Online, so please, I don't like. I don't see how this is funny, but you know, people react in different ways. You know, how people laugh at a funeral. So kind of understandable. I know this is bad, but I'm going to go. No, there, no, there, I, I locked my card, but I'm going to call and cancel it. But there was like no, no activity on it. So I, I worked, I locked it before I sped away. And then I'm like, it's just like going, I'm like, please, please hurry. Also, folks, if you aren't caught up to everything, she also gave him a hundred dollars. What for? I have no idea. She gave him her bank card and a hundred dollars. I think the hundred dollars is like, hey, please leave me alone. Here's a hundred dollars. I think it's something along those lines. He's very smart. I don't know. I don't trust. I don't know. Anyway, um, he is so very I'm, smart. Uh, I'd he's say that cheating. Like I don't know where he has the time to like. We're always together, pretty much. I guess when I'm not there for a couple of days, taking a break. What, are you kidding me? I was, like, sat in bed for three days because you were ignoring me. Yeah, right. Okay, so, what, gonorrhea gave itself? Wait a second. If you're not aware of the incubation period for gonorrhea, incubation period as in, you know, when it shows its signs is typically two to five days. It could maybe stretch it out to seven days, depending on some people. But, you know, what was he doing in two days to five days or seven days? But then again, if your gonads are inflamed, you know, swollen like that, that usually indicates you've had it for a while. So what has this man been doing the past couple weeks or couple months? Well, we are pretty sure what he's been doing. The flags, the red flags, I should say, are all there. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna be back, okay? And his roommate. What? Oh, let's not forget the roommate. Well, more of a housemate, so to speak. The housemate that was kind of off camera, but you could hear speaking when he offered him lunch, was it? I remember that. Or is it the other person who keeps coming into the place and sleeping on the couch because he keeps forgetting to lock the door? Now, why would you forget to lock the door? Or is it any other person that would be coming over to the place? Any other person coming in and out to the place? It could be any and everybody. It could be the woman on the stairs that had the Pepsi and the condoms. There's so many unanswered questions. But we kind of do have an answer. The guy is talking to multiple women, is seeing multiple women. I don't see how this is a surprise to her. No idea why this is a surprise. The only reason this would be a surprise is if her social intelligence is lacking, as I've said multiple times. <laughs> I better not, if I have a gonorrhea, I fucking swear to God. If Most likely she does. I swear. Oh my God, okay. I gotta get out of here. I need to do this. And <clears throat> afterwards, we're just gonna like get food and just try to move on. No, let's take pizza and go for, out for a vlog to Pover. Yeah. All right. It's only eleven thirty. He just went to bed, but I'm yeah, that's that's bed. not okay. This is not okay. You see, she always does this where this guy nadir is always a priority until he's not once he's out of the picture then other people have to be a replacement when she puts them on the back burner like nadir or uh, not nadir what am i saying like pete's or her mom they're on the back burner until they're needed this isn't a baseball game life isn't a baseball game where you call people up off the bench come on i don't want to be alone really maybe i'll go see my mom Anybody there in my we life. go. Mm -hmm. Somebody Calling people that, up off the bench. Every fucking minute of my life. As if they have nothing to do. They're just there being bench warmers until she calls them up to be a part of her life, a part of her dynamic, a part of consoling and comforting her. 
I'm supposed to go back to his place, edit with him. No, 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 no. Oh my god, he's gonna seriously fucking kill me. I swear. If I go missing, the original web girl, get safe, lock everything, and call three people and tell them where you will be and check in. And I'm giving people his address. <clears throat> you know, what she last said there is actually very insulting to DV survivors and people going through a DV situation because she can easily get away, as I've said before, and she keeps bringing this stuff up. It's like another paper clips type of event where she just thinks she could just bring stuff up say whatever she wants trigger people and then bring it all the way back down as if nothing happened because we know what typically happens a day or two from now right we're in a cycle of a cycle of a cycle right yeah it must have been a really nasty disgusting like vagina to give you gonorrhea in two days I i'm glad you got it and like he's still like i swear and that's so disrespectful, you know, you, you sleep with somebody dirty with no condom and then you like give somebody an STD. This is ridiculous. And that is why you're not supposed to sleep with random people you do not know without a condom foodie beauty. This is exactly why. Ugh. Shouldn't oh, be doing that. Anyway, I'm going to go in my house and go to my because therapy session. I need you never know what LC this guy has. He could have any other thing not only a bacterial infection or disease but a viral one you gotta be careful because the big h the big i the big v can be in play in this scenario it's real bad right now oh. who is this cheyenne wolf probably one of his fucking who's cheyenne wolf there you go i'm not cheyenne wolf you freaking assholes <laughs> Is that who you said? Should I answer it? <sighs> of course. Okay, don't call me right now. I'll try to answer it later. Okay. In between all this, let's just do a shart. If I can unlock that, I can check all his things. Can I get the phone unlocked? I'm gonna go get pizza after. I'm gonna sword. I'm just kidding. I shouldn't be saying these things online. She oh, should not. It's not so, okay. Yes, I'm gonna deal with it. Really Let not okay. It, and I will be back after, okay? So, I'll talk to you guys after. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I'll be back. Lock him the door. Bye. Shut up. Bye. <sighs> All right, folks. So that is it. She was back because she did say she was going to come back and she was actually telling the truth that time. So she was back. We won't be getting into that because it doesn't really add much to what I'm going to say. So we will not. Uh, how can I end this? Uh, I should add that her channel is in the dumps because she has eroded her credibility with her audience. How did she do this? Well, all the stuff, all the lies she has said, all the things that she has done at the beginning of the summer, in fact, late March when this all happened, you know, March slash April with the whole Nadir situation, the whole Nadir arc, everything she says going forward will be brought into question and proof asked for because she has eroded her credibility with her audience. You can't keep lying, 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 crying wolf, lying, 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 and expect people to continually believe you. Some people might believe her once, maybe twice, maybe three times, but if she continues to lie, we're just not going to believe her. Her VIVs, I don't know, it could be like the hundredth time they've lied to. Could be the hundredth time that she has lied to them. And some of them are done. Some of them are sick of it. Some of them have gone because they're sick of the lies. So what can I say to end this? Well, if you want to know how to ruin a channel by meeting a alleged drug addict, then just ask Foodie Beauty because this is the exact way to ruin your channel, to ruin your only source of income is this, is meeting a guy you shouldn't have met in the first place. 
Anyways, that is it for me. Please leave me a like, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, leave me a comment, and I will see you later. Take care.